The pseudostate is a UML concept that lets you add information about what happens during transitions in your state diagram. What's the difference between a pseudostate and a state? A state is a condition or situation of an object in a state machine. As the name suggests, however, a pseudostate is not the actual state of an object. Instead, a pseudostate shows something that happens on the way from one state to another. You might, for example, come to a sort of decision point where two transitions are possible depending on, on which condition is true. Or you might come to a point where several transitions merge into one, or one transition splits into several other transitions. So pseudostates happen during transitions. Let's start with a look at the initial pseudostate, and that's represented by a filled-in circle. Initial, when you think about it, is not a state of the machine. Really, it represents the start of the diagram. So, for example, if you have a state machine whose initial state is waiting, in the diagram, you show it like this. You have the initial pseudostate to show where things start. You draw a transition from the initial pseudostate to the first actual state of the machine. You can, by the way, label this transition with whatever action or condition is necessary to get to this first actual state of the machine. A similar concept is the terminate pseudostate, and that's represented by an X. Uh, the terminate pseudostate shows the termination of a state machine. Examples might include a login failure or a power interruption, something that could lead to a termination of the machine. So, for example, if you have a state called, let's say, checking login information, and you have the login fail, then that could lead to a terminate pseudostate. So pseudostates are a useful way to show what happens during transitions in a state machine, letting you add complexity to your state diagrams. And the next several movies will cover various kinds of pseudostates that you can use in your state machine diagrams.